Patriot Prime Reviews is a channel for adult collectors and may not be suitable for children under 13 years of age. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey, what's going on guys? Patriot Prime here once again with another Transformers review. But before I get started, I need you guys to do me a favor. If you're watching this video right here and are not a subscriber of Patriot Prime Reviews, please hit that subscribe button right now. It won't cost you a thing, but will help me and my channel out tremendously. Also, make sure and visit my sponsor, ToyHacks.com. ToyHacks provides reproduction and upgrade decal sets for Transformer toys from Generation 1 to the latest modern figures. Make sure and stop by the ToyHacks Armory, where they can equip your figures with new weaponry in multiple colors, and Toy Stages provides backdrops for figure displays and photography. Each purchase with Toy Hacks earns you RoboSense that can be used for future purchases. You can check your balance anytime in your cart. Toy Hacks is a company run by collectors for collectors. So check out ToyHacks.com and make your collection stand out from the rest. And tell them Patriot Prime sent you. Now, on to the review. The featured bot in this video is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom. Dinobot. Dinobot here was a surprise find for me when my wife sent me to our local Walmart to pick up my son a bookcase. And before you ask, the bookcase was purchased. So I found Dinobot on the bottom shelf and I'm looking all over to see if maybe Inferno's there too, maybe hid behind something else. But no luck, Dinobot was the only Wave 2 Voyager that I found. Still, very happy to get him because I have him currently pre-ordered on Amazon, but they're saying he won't arrive until around May, so I'm going to cancel that now that I've got this guy in hand. So now, taking a quick look at the packaging, we've got Dinobot here behind that little plastic window, Transformers, War for Cybertron Kingdom, and some great artwork of Dinobot both in Raptor mode and Robot mode. I love that artwork. That looks so cool. Back of the box, we've got Dinobot in robot mode and raptor mode once again. Side of the box, kingdom artwork. So now, without further ado, let's get Dinobot opened up out of this packaging and check him out. And welcome to Patriot Prime Reviews. <laughs> Now, once you get Dinobot all opened up out of his packaging, you do see he comes with a sheet of instructions that, as usual, are very well illustrated and very easy to follow. He also comes with a trading card. I got another Optimus Prime here. I thought I'd get new cards with Wave 2, but oh well. You got Optimus Prime here in robot mode. Peel the sticker back, and there is Optimus Prime. Actually, that's the exact same image just with a lot of Cybertronian writing. So that is a different card. Last time it was like a dead Optimus Prime. So okay, it is different. So you get the card. He also has his tail slash spinning shield weapon and his sword. So now let's take a closer look at Dinobot himself. Dinobot's robot mode looks amazing. He looks like he just stepped right out of the television show, which is fantastic because Dinobot was one of the best Transformer characters ever created, and he had one of my all-time favorite lines in all the Transformers series. I prefer to beat my opponents the old-fashioned way. Brutally! Now, taking a closer look at the figure, I mean, this guy is spot on. Look at that head sculpt. That head sculpt is amazing with some great paint applications. Black stripes up here along the top and the brow. Painted red eyes that look great, and that face just looks awesome. Moving on down the figure, he's got great molded detail that looks like the dinosaur skin. Got the little blue rib cage right there with the gold paint. Gold paint here on the crotch. Moving on down, he's got more dinosaur detailing on down to the legs. It's more of that gold brown. Now, I wish that this gold right here 
was down here on the legs because that's how he was in the cartoon show. But hey, beggars can't be choosers. He does have a little bit of a backpack, but still, it doesn't really look that bad. Now, one issue I have with robot mode is this right here. He's got a little wibble, wiggle wobble right there at the waist. Now, the waist rotation is really tight. It's just like he's not pinned in all the way. But from what I hear, this is common with this figure. Now, going on into articulation, the head is on a ball joint. It can look up, it can look down, it can do the little cockeyed look and do a complete 360. The arms can go all the way up. Actually, that's not supposed to do that. That's part of the transformation. So still, the arms can go all the way up. They can do a complete 360. There is an elbow bend. There is a wrist rotation. And check the hands out. Just like the cartoon, he's got the dual thumbs right there, the claws. I love the details on this robot mode. Also, along with the wrist rotation, you have a wrist swivel here, like a little wrist joint. And as I showed earlier, there is waist rotation. Legs can go all the way out, back in, forward, backwards slightly, but you have to do it at an angle. There is a knee bend, but it's very, very tight. And I thought he had a knee rotation. It looks like there's one right there, but that's just sculpted details. So don't try to force, force your figure to do a knee rotation. There is some thigh rotation, just a little bit. And down here is some ankle tilts. So lots of articulation for this guy. You can make him look <laughs> really badass with some poses, especially when you give him his weaponry. And the weapons include the tail section here that opens up into what should be his spinning blade shield, but unfortunately this does not spin. So you attach this to his hand. He's got little peg holes right there. So you can attach that like so. And he also has his spinning sword. Let me get his foot straight here. Right here. Looks just like it did on the cartoon show except the blade is purple. I wish they painted that silver. That would look so much better. Now, I may go ahead and paint this silver myself with my chrome pen. It looks like it would pop right out, and I've tried and tried, and I can't get it to do it, so it may be glued in. So I may have to just be very careful as I paint this up. Now, you can put it in his hand as a sword or plug it into the spinning shield like so, but it looks so much better as a sword. So you would peg it in. It's got this little peg right on the side that would go in right there. Just wrap the fingers around. And so now you have Dinobot all armed and ready for battle. And as badass as the character is, his weapons were badass too. <laughs> I always love how that sword rotated around. So that's pretty much it for Dinobot in robot mode. Now let's get him transformed into dinosaur mode. Now, of course, the first thing we're going to do is remove the weaponry. We'll go ahead and take the tail shield off first, put that to the side, and remove the sword. So now what you're going to do is bring the arms all the way up, like I had them earlier when I was showing them off. Make sure and get these little shoulder sections out right here. Then along the sides, you're going to swing out his raptor arms. So those actually form his robot side there. Now you're going to take this section right here and bring this up. Just like so. Do that on both sides. Be very careful with these. It's one piece, but you could easily squeeze that together and snap it. So now we've got this look going on. Now we're going to bring the back section up and over. And you're going to take this back section here, which is the tail, and you're going to shove Dinobot's head up his own ass. <laughs> so you're going to get that pegged in like that. So now extend the Raptor head up like so. This is a wonky transformation. So now let's see what's next. Let's bring 
the legs up or let's see you gotta rotate these around like so and you're gonna bring these this flap back over this actually forms the dinosaur thigh so get that pegged in you want to rotate the leg around like so so you've got a leg that looks like that we'll go ahead and do this on the other side leg up bring these down peg them together so we've got that going on go ahead and get this leg rotated around just right you want to make sure the hollow bits are on the inside there we go now you're going to take the legs and on the inside of the leg you're going to open this section out, or actually it's on the outside of the leg, my bad. I've only transformed this guy once, please bear with me. So you got these little sections there flipped out. Now you're going to spin what was the robot waist around, forming the dinosaur chest. And now you're going to bring the legs up. Let's see, fold the heels in. It has really tight joints there. Everything's tight except for his little hip wiggle. So now you're going to bring these up. And there is little tabs that would line up right here on the knee. So there's a little slot right there that lines up with this tab. Get that lined up just right. Do it on both sides. Very fiddly transformation. But you want to make sure these little rib sections from the legs go right up inside the torso of the Dinosaur, get the feet up like so. Bring the legs down, bring the feet up and over. Easier said than done with this guy. Okay, bring those down. Now we're gonna bring the arms down and extend, rotate them around like so. There we are almost there so now we've got that going on now we're going to take the tail and we're going to plug in the sword get the little sword right here now the little edge that we use to clip into his hand it's going to line up with that slot right there and you'll see the little hole right there on top of the sword that'll match up to that little hole right there that little peg so make sure and line those up peg that in good and then just plug it right in to his back and there you have dinobot in raptor mode and i'll be honest that mode sucks i hate dinobot's raptor mode he just looks so derpy i mean look at the face i just i hate that now, if you open the mouth up, it looks a little better, but when you shut it, it's just like, <laughs> I, just, I hate that. And another thing, why is he missing his front teeth? Just like Studio Series Grimlock. I don't know if Hasbro is obsessed with meth heads or what, but that looks ridiculous. When I mentioned that in my Studio Series 86 Grimlock review, somebody got on the comments and said it was due to a child safety feature, but I have to call bullshit on that because look at Kingdom Megatron. He has got a mouthful of teeth, so it's not for any child safety laws. I don't understand that. That just looks stupid. And if you open his mouth up, which he really can't open too wide, there's no blast effect port or anything in there. So I don't know why that is. Now, as far as articulation, the top of the jaw moves up and the bottom is on a hinge, but you can't really open very wide. So that's weird. The front arms look terrible. They can go up in and out. There is a little wrist rotation there, but he's stuck in that look there, which I think looks so dorky. A lot of robot shows through, which, you know, I guess it can be accepted. They kind of, try to perform a miracle getting a perfect Dinobot robot mode to look like the Raptor, but still maybe there could have been something else they could have done. Let's see. I don't think I have those pegged in right. They kind of fit around that a little better. Nope, that, that's about it. 
Let's see, the back legs, there's no articulation up here. That's a solid piece the way it is for transformation, but the knees can move and there is rotation there at the claws. Got all those robot pieces hanging out there. And then you have the tail. I, I hate how the tail looks with that purple tip sticking out. It's like an excited dog, if you know what I mean. So yeah, dinosaur mode. Dinosaur mode is not good at all. And this guy, he deserves to be extinct. So there you go, guys. Dinosaur mode. And now for some quick size comparisons, here is Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Dinobot with Kingdom Megatron, Kingdom Optimus Primal, and Kingdom Rat Trap. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Dinobot is a figure I am split right down the middle on. On one hand, he's got a great robot mode that looks like he stepped right out of the screen, except for maybe a few missing paint applications. I love the detail on robot mode. I love the sculpting. I love the posability. Robot mode to me is perfect. What I can't stand is the dinosaur mode. His raptor mode is terrible looking. I just, he looks derpy. I don't understand why he's missing front teeth again, just like Studio Series Megatron. And it just, it looks like garbage. I'm just not a fan of his raptor mode, but it, it is what it is. I will sacrifice that raptor mode for this screen accurate Dinobot. So there you go, guys. Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Dinobot. So, does a Transformers War for Cybertron Kingdom Dinobot belong in your collection? Absolutely. For robot mode. His Raptor mode sucks. But the robot mode is fantastic. For any Beast Wars fan out there, especially those who enjoyed the cartoons as much as I did, this Dinobot figure looks amazing. Like I said, it looks like he stepped right out of the screen. Though I do wish he had some different paint applications, maybe some more gold there on the shins and up here on the hips to make him more cartoon accurate. Not to mention, I'd like to see some silver paint there on the sword instead of that purple. Now, speaking of the weapons, there is weapon storage on his back. So if you don't want to have him holding his shield or sword, you can peg that right in along his back and actually stores really well. Now, another complaint, as you can see, that loose hips. I don't understand why that is. I guess there's a pin that just didn't go all the way through because his waist is really tight. So when you're holding him, that's, that's kind of annoying, but standing on the shelf, you're not going to notice him whatsoever. Now the Raptor mode, man, I hate that Raptor mode. It's just, it looks derpy. It's missing the front teeth. And for some reason, I can't get mine to tab in fully. You probably noticed during the review, the hips on mine just kept popping out. Now, I've been messing around with this guy for a few days, and I just cannot get those hips to tab in. Of course, that may just be my figure. But then again, I don't plan on ever transforming Dinobot back to his Raptor mode again. He's going to be displayed proudly in robot mode on my shelf. So, that being said, Beast Wars fans, fans of the Beast Wars cartoon, pick this guy up. You're not going to be disappointed. Now, guys, if you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like, don't forget to subscribe, and don't forget to click that bell icon to get notified when I upload new reviews. Also, if you're in any position to help out the channel, I offer channel memberships here on YouTube, and I also have a Patreon page. And I want to give a big shout out to my newest YouTube channel member, uh, Amadarp Singh Man. I really hope I didn't mess your name up, but thank you so much for your support. Now, once again, guys, this is Patriot Prime, signing out. Hoo-ah!